Yo, what's up, Gear Nerds? It's your buddy Dustin from Blue Collar Gear Review. Um, coming at you today with sort of a part two of a uh, preamp power amp setup um, using the KSR clone, the LY, LY Rock clone, and the Duncan Power Stage. Uh, one of the, uh, the comments and user reviews I very much appreciate was kind of to ask for an illustration of how to use modulation um, in the effects loop using a preamp power amp setup. Um, essentially what you do, we'll do a close up look here momentarily, but essentially what you do is anything after the preamp is treated like you would plug a pedal or whatever into your effects loop of your amplifier. Um, should your amplifier have effects loops, some, some do not for whatever reason. But this particular setup introduces a couple of modulations before the power amp, after the preamp. And again, we're gonna dive in real close here momentarily. While we're doing this though, I also have a, a really cool unit on loan from a friend of mine. It's the Remote Loopy 2. Um, gives you the opportunity to have additional effects loops in your signal chain. In other words, um, instead of going direct from A to B, you can introduce a few things kind of in the mix or in your signal chain and be able to off and on them with the click of one button or two buttons, depending upon how you set this up, um, without having to kind of tap dance on stage. Um, in this particular example, this extra switch doctor pedal and the loop kind of being so close sort of is, is redundant. But if you're on stage and you want to trigger these things and you only want one little teeny tiny foot switch at your feet and your, your normal sound is what it is wherever you are, that can certainly simplify your rig. If, you're, if your pedal rig lives on top of your cabinet, which in this case is just set up for example, if all this is on your pedal board, um, you still could take advantage of a loop, uh, just having some pedals on on your board and then having one or two switches to control uh, many things at one time. Um, but let's just take a deeper dive into it. I'm going to apologize in advance. The cabling and such is sort of cluttered um, because, I, again, I just was throwing this together for the demo purposes of illustrating the preamp, the uh, effects loop in this particular scenario before the power amp. So let's take a closer look. Let's hear how it sounds. Not really a tone demo, but for the purposes of the demo, uh, using a Gibson SG Baritone with the 500T pickups, um, LY Rock uh, KSR clone pedal, Duncan Power Stage 170, my favorite phaser of all time, the Small Stone, and then the MXR Carbon Copy Delay, uh, the Loopy 2, and the Switch Doctor. A lot of stuff to say, four pedals and a switch. But it sounds awesome, and this is a convenient, quiet, tight rig. Um, especially if you had to throw it all in a backpack and hop on a plane or a bus or a Uber or whatever without being able to really lug your, your big stuff around. Let's take a closer look and uh, get some sounds and show the functionality. Hopefully this video answers the questions of using effects loops and modulations with a preamp and power amp setup. Let's take a look. All right, guys, real quick, um, just to want to give you a good close-up shot of the signal chain and kind of what we have going on here. Again, uh, in, in the introduction, I mentioned the cabling is kind of messy. I could do a better job of, of cleaning this stuff up. But for the purposes of the demo, um, everything is powered off of a, a, a daisy chain and just a regular 9-volt power supply. These are 9-volt pedals. Um, introducing first in the, in the chain, the LY Rock KSR clone goes into the input of the loopy box to the output of the loopy box into the input of the Seymour Duncan power stage. You could very well take this out of the mix and just go straight in. This just introduces the switch doctor for the ability to change your channels, air quote channels, uh, using a switch versus having to mess with your pedals on your cab if you wanted to do that. So right now, uh, loop one is engaged. Simply turn loop one off or on. Uh, loop two is also can, is engageable with the, uh, with the small stone there and the carbon copy in loop one. Um, again, introducing the idea of being able to off and on multiple units in an effects loop style uh, style setup. So send and return uh, in and out of the pedal, send and return in and out of the pedal. You could string together a number of pedals on this one channel. You can string together pedals on that channel and do some ambient cool stuff if that's what you wanna do. Um, but again, this part's not necessary. I just wanna show, show it to you while we had it um, here available. So let's take a look, let's take a listen and hear if the um, effects sound like they do in an effects setting.
all right guys um there you have it yeah hopefully it was very clear and very concise on how the, the cabling and how the setup works again you have a preamp you have effects that you can introduce in your chain behind the preamp to create that effects loop feel as long as it's before the power amp. Um, again, not really a tone demo. This was some stuff I set up just because of the way I like to hear it. Uh, you can certainly tweak every single knob to get different sounds and different tones. That part's fine and good. What I was trying to illustrate here is how to introduce and often on some pedals kind of in a live rig situation. Um, you could put all of this on a board. You can uh, mount your power. You can run your cables very clean, very neatly. Um, again, I was sort of just doing this, um, I don't want to say in a hurry, but sort of just kind of putting it together to show you the, the, the purpose and functionality of how this could behave in a very small footprint setting. Um, you know, you could load around a 212 or a 412 in this case um, and have a very small footprint on stage, even a, even a 112 and a handful of your favorite pedals. You could put more pedals in your loop. You could put them directly in the chain and bypass this loop if you wanted to. You don't have to have this loop at all. You can go from preamp to modulation to power amp if that's your if that's your choice and your desire. Um, again, the purpose here is just to show you how you can kind of hook up a few different things and introduce effects in your loop, if you will, um, just by placing them in certain places in the signal chain. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful. Um, thank you for the user comments and user reviews. I very much appreciate you guys. Um, if you have any questions or any comments, or you want to see more of something like this in this particular setup, uh, shoot me a message, send me a comment, happy to do it. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.